Good morning, students. Today we will do the revision work of the exercises of lesson nine. That is, group. And our exercises are from pages eighty-six to eighty-nine. All right. In our page number eighty-six, we have the column of Raven Hills. And in that particular column, we have two terms. Those are our phrases and clauses. All right. So in this column, we will talk about phrases and clauses. After that, we have the exercises. So before originating the exercises, we will talk about phrases. And clauses. You might be seeing on the board that I have written phrase in one side, and in another side you can see here. You can see here I have written clause, and here I have written phrase. Students, phrase and clause both are a group of words. All right. Now next thing what to remember? The second thing is what? Phrase and clause both are a part of the same phrase. All right. Now again, phrase and clause both are a group of words. Clear? If they are a group of words, then they can be found in a same phrase. That's why phrase and clause. Both are a part of a same phrase, but phrase has no subject and phrase has no verb. All right. Now this way, clause has a subject and it has a verb too. Phrase. Has no subject and no verb, but it helps to give more detail in a sentence. All right. So students, phrase has no subject and no verb, whereas clause has a subject and a verb. Let's see one example. The example of Phrase is given in the morning. Here, in this group of word, there is no subject and there is no word, so it belong to phrase. Now, the example of clause. Who was a kind man? In this group, who is our subject and was is our word, so it belongs to our clause. Clear? Now we will step into our exercises. In our exercise number A, some work is given for us. We will follow it. It is given to identify whether these are phrases or clauses. All right. Whatever the Group of words I have written on the board from number one to number eight. We have to identify. We have to indicate whether these group of words are our phrases or clauses. If they are phrases, then what we have to do? We will write P. All right. If there are clauses, we will write C against those group of words which is given in our exercise. So let's work out. In number one, it is written he spotted a leopard. Now in this group, he is our subject and spotted is our. So it belongs to our clause. All right. Now, number two.
number 2 in number 2 we have on a low branch of a tree in this row we have no subject and we have no word so we are in the phrase alright now number 3 in number 3 it is given it rained very heavily for many days in this row it is our subject isn't it it is our subject and rain is our verb that's why number 3 is our clause now step into number 4 in number 4 it is written for a little while in number 4 in this group there is no subject and there is no word that's why it belongs to our phrase alright now number 5 in number 5 it is given whose family this house belongs to now students the word whose is used to ask question and the word whose belongs to relative pronoun so we will get whose as our subject alright and the word belongs is our verb then you will say how B B is our verb and then now it is joined together with this hyphen mark so as we know B is our verb that's why it is our possessive verb alright that's why we got number 5 group of words as a clause. Now step into number 6. Old car rosewood table. In this group we have no subject and we have no verb. So it belongs to our phrase. Now number 7. In number 7 the group of words we have over the last 50 years here also we have no subject and we have no verb so it belongs to our phrase all right now last number that is number 8 number 8 we have which is growing to a good height The word which is our subject. So it is our subject. And is is our verb. Clear? Yeah? So number 8 belongs to our clause. Clear? Yeah? So students, we came to know that in this exercise is what in the group of words are there we have seen some group of words which has no subject and no word they belong to phrase and the group of words which have some subject and some words those we have chosen as our clauses. Alright? So students, we will follow on this exercise and then we will start our exercise number B.